Today's episode is brought to you by Cars.com. With over 2 million vehicles and 50,000 more added every day, Cars.com will match you with the perfect car for you, your budget, your life, your style. And if you're ready to say goodbye to your current car, Cars.com will get you an instant offer to cash it in. Just start by entering your license plate and get matched with a local dealer who will write you the check. So whether you're looking to buy or sell, just go to Cars.com. It's magical. Good morning, friends. Welcome to Mavs Moneyball Minute. My name is Kirk Henderson, and I'm editor-in-chief of MavsMoneyball.com. You're joining me on Sunday, May 22nd. Look, guys, I know what I've been doing um, regularly, which is trying to shine a light on, you know, different Mavs work that I come across just to, you know, because there's a lot of stuff out there. It's difficult to, you know, approach and find everything that, that's been written or talked about just because there's so much content these days. Uh, for example, one of my big blind spots is YouTube. I've, I've just never been a YouTube guy, so I tend to miss a lot of YouTube stuff. Um, but today, uh, Sunday morning, I don't have a lot. Honestly, I've not really sought stuff out. The Game 2 loss was extremely frustrating on MavsMoneyBall.com. Uh, we wrote a pair of post-game articles, both firmly sort of placing a healthy chunk of the blame on head coach Jason Kidd, who for the first time all season, I thought really showed an element of something that I was a little bit worried about coming from Brooklyn and Milwaukee in that he didn't really want to take much responsibility for the loss, didn't call a lot of timeouts, actually didn't call any timeouts in the third quarter. Um, but at this point, it's kind of neither here nor there. Uh, the Mavericks are down 0-2. They're home, where they've played very well this season with a really, really amazing uh, local Dallas crowd. And there's a lot to be uh, bullish about in spite of uh, you know the, the fact that the Mavs are down 0-2. Um, this is a team playing with, you know, what we have referred to as house money. They're, they're up. They weren't expected to be here to begin with. So one would hope that they're playing a little bit loose. Uh, I will say, I, I do think it's, it's to the point in the off se- or in the postseason where the Mavericks rotation looks tired. Uh, Reggie Bullock and uh, Dorian Finney-Smith in particular are kind of getting run ragged. They've played massive minute loads for weeks now months really if you go back into the regular season and you can just see elements where it's starting to catch up with them uh Luka Doncic is you know still playing very very well Jalen Brunson had probably his best postseason game since game two against the Utah Jazz here's to hoping that they can maybe build on that and really just take it one game at a time getting one win is is all they need to do they need to focus on the, the win on Sunday night and and we'll see where they can go from there. I am, like I mentioned earlier, I, I'm feeling pretty good. I, I would wish I could kind of point to you to some more things that might make you feel better about where this game is going, but losing a 19-point lead tends to, to result in people getting pretty down on um, those that they're covering. Uh, I did a show that I believe should go up at some point here uh, Sunday with Kevin O'Connor and Sam Esfendiari on the Ringer podcast feed. It's a Kevin O'Connor show called The Void, where we talked about this series to date. I would really love it if you went and gave that a listen and then provided me some feedback. Um, you know, I just wanted to kind of give a little bit of a message of, of optimism heading into this game, despite being down 0-2. I just, I feel good. I've had a lot of fun. Um, this has been... One of the more rewarding even and, and really tire, tiring elements of my professional career. But I've had a great time uh, getting to talk with fans, getting feedback. You know, when I watched the 2011 title run, um, I watched it by myself. I was with my wife, but I didn't really have, you know, I was, I was in a different city. And getting to share a lot of this with other people and then hearing from people who are in a situation similar to mine that are kind of around the world and they're the only Dallas Mavs fan and you know, wherever they live that they know of. I really like hearing that, uh, that, that that's bringing them some sense of community. Uh, basketball and sports are supposed to be fun. And if you're not having fun, then it's probably not worth your time. 
And so, you know, there, there's not much more for me to say at the moment. Uh, Josh Bow will be back tonight and probably give us, uh, you know, his in-depth analysis because Josh is just one of the best um, minds in, in the in the you know Dallas media game, and as far as I'm concerned, in terms of analysis, uh, I'm sure there's plenty of other items you could check out if you're interested around the internet. But uh, like I mentioned, I just I, I felt sort of compelled uh, to wake up this morning and give you guys a show, even though there's not a ton to say other than go Mavs, and we'll see you a little later tonight. Have a good day, guys.